<clears throat> so here the intention of this application is need to predict the software quality only so here we are going to consider one data set which is having related to list of software and everything so here we are having 10 data sets one is related to spring framework another one is related to junit another one is related to kafka trunk another one is related to lucy and drop wizard textile hadoop selenium skywalking and signal android mast so these are the data sets which we are working so among these data sets we can choose any one data set and so when you observe any data set it is having the information related to the software so for example here we are using qualified name so what are the things they are observing and then the name so here we are having qualified name and the name then complexity then coupling size lack of cohesion cbo rfc these are all the different parameters they are considering in software quality only okay so every quality is having their own values okay so based on the thing it may having between 1 to 100 or 0 to 1 like that and r1 r0 okay so like that we are having different different data sets regarding j unit also we are having so any data set we can use it so it is also having the same parameters so and like that we are having totally 10 data sets and among these 10 data sets we can choose anything so whichever data set you want you can test it so here when you are going to discuss regarding the abstract here they are saying that the software quality estimation is an activity needed at various stages of software development so when the people are going to develop any software so mainly they will concentrate on quality and thing so already we know that one problem can be solved with the help of different different things for example uh, when you consider one example like to find out uh, uh, whether the number is a prime number or not or else whether you want to find out whether the number is strong number or not or want to reverse the number or else some x or z so if you assume some problem for that problem you can find different different you can find different different solutions so everything is correct when you execute n number of programs so for example n users are there and n users they will give n programs all n programs all n programs will get same output but they will consider some applications only they will not consider all n programs to implement it why because so they may need some time complexity and space complexity also so the program should execute as early as possible in good time manner and should use very less memory these are the main constraints okay so when you consider these constraints then some programs will be assured and some programs only will work okay so that will decide based on the situation just a minute
Deus. Sorry. So here the thing is, when we people are working with uh, programming styles, so all programmers write their own program, but we don't consider all the programs. The programming which is giving best performance, then only we'll consider. So when you're planning some performance, they may having different different uh, factors. So among these factors, they will check it. But here in the part of machine learning. So what we are going to discuss is, so which one is best, which one is better. So for that, we are using SVM and uh, neural network algorithms. Only. Okay. So they will find the accuracy, which is having high accuracy, which is having low accuracy, and everything will be mentioned in machine learning algorithm. Okay. So this is all the total the documentation which we are having. So literature survey and everything is there. So when it comes to execution part, so in the folder, software quality folder is there. There, just to click on run. When you click on run, automatically your application will start execution. So which is having PPT also. And generally the machine learning algorithms will process these things. Okay. okay. So whatever the data set we are having, first they will apply cleaning and pre-processing. Then they will train the data set and they will select the future. So features in the sense here in machine learning. So table fields, we call it as a feature Sunday. So if you consider any table, it may have a number of fields, columns are there. So that columns will be mentioned as a future. So they will select the features and then they will do the input and uh, they will apply the machine learning algorithms. So then they will get the predictions. For execution, it will take some time. We need to wait. So this is the thing. So first you supposed to upload the data set. So in data set, we are having different different types of data sets. Among these things, whichever data set you want, you can choose it. Okay. You need to consider one data set. These are different software's uh, data which we have collected. Yeah, which is already recorded which is already recorded. And if you if you have your own data set, you can also add here. So whatever it may be. So here they gave some data sets which is related to different different softwares. And they recorded yearly wise. Yearly wise they recorded. Okay. So just you need to choose upload data set. So we are having different different data sets. So I'm using some Hadoop trunk. So it is having only 2020, we can choose that one. So once you uploaded the data set, then pre-processing is going to work. Here, so we're having the data sets information. Some cards are there. Totally 4,000, sorry, 41,667 records are there and 40 features are there. So 41,667 seven rows and 40 columns. Here columns in the sense, we call it as the features. And we are giving some graphical representation also of different, different columns, SRFC, DIT, all the columns are there. So it is giving the information. And if you want to save this image, you can save it, but not required. Just I'm closing this one. So this is data which I uploaded. Once you uploaded the data set, 
then you're supposed to pre-process the given data set. Pre-processing in the sense, it is going to check either any null values are there, or else any difficulties is there, everything will think. And if any null values or everything is there, then they will remove the data set. Uh, they will remove the rows and rows, which contains the null values. Just we're supposed to click pre-process data set. It is having the qualified name, these all things, and which is giving the maximum value, which is having maximum value. So once it is pre-processed, here I'm getting some data, which is led to pre-processing. And then future selection algorithms. So we need to select the features. When you click on here, so it is going to give the information. This is a cross matrix. So we may having number of features, 40 features are there. That's why data overlapping is happening. So, but here graph can not only graphically text in text wise, we can see here. So total features are found in the data set before applying the future selection, 39 is there. So total features found in the data set after applying the future selection algorithm. So among 39, we are choosing 30 only. And the total records found is so 41,667. But among these, some null data will be there. Some null data will be there. Okay, that we can remove. The total records used for trying the machine learning algorithm is 33,333. And the total records used to test machine learning algorithm is 8,334. So here, when you observe the data set, so we are having single data set. We are having single data set. When you people are applying any machine learning algorithm, so the data set is supposed to divide into two parts. One is called trying data set, another one is called test data set. And some problems may find a different for training and testing also. Okay, so in some applications, you may find two data sets. One is for training, another one is for test. In some applications, you may get only one data set. In that case, if you are having only one data set, in that case, it is your responsibility to divide the data set into two parts, training and test. So how we are going to divide in the sense, so we may consider 70, 30 percentage assembly. So some programs may consider 70% of data set will be training and 30% will be testing. In some applications, they may go with 80, 20 also. In some applications, they may go with 60, 40 also. Okay. So in our application, So here in our application, we are using 80-20 percent. Here the sound test size equal to 0 0.2 means 20 percent. So 80 percent will be for training data and 20 percent is for testing data. How we are going to select like that means based on the data which we have in the Okay. So for example, uh, you can calculate. 
So total we are having 41,667 into 520. So 8334, 8334. So that is the value which we are having. Okay, 8,333.4 means 8334 it is taking. And remaining in the cost will be training purpose. So when you this 80, 20, uh, 70, 30, means if you're having huge amount of data, thousands of records, then go with 80, 20. If you're having some medium, means uh, so I'll go some 5,000, 6,000 like that, go with 70, 30. So if you're having very less, like uh, hundreds, then go with the uh, uh, 60, 40. Why? Because for training or trial testing, both should be having some meaningful of records. Okay, if you are having very less records for testing, then in that case, so your machine learning algorithms will not work properly. So here I'm having 41,667. That's why I choose in 80, 20%. So 20% of data will be for testing purpose and 80% of data will be for training purpose. So among these records, so it is taking randomly only. Randomly, it is going to divide into two parts. So that is future selection algorithm. Then I'm running machine learning algorithm. Just I'm clicking machine learning algorithm. Run. So it will take some time. So for machine learning algorithms, execution will take a lot of time only. We need to wait for some time. So this 8,334 records, it will pick randomly or it will uh, pick sequence? Randomly, randomly machine itself is taking. Okay, among these, so it is going to design data frames. So for 80% of records, it is going to design one data frame and 30% of records, it is going to design one data frame and it's not sequence. So randomly, it, it randomly it will choose. So from a single data set which we have pointed, it will split into two now. Yeah. Okay. Whatever the data set you selected, so that will be split into two parts. 80, 20 percentage. <clears throat> Here. Is it compulsory 80, 20 means? No. Some people may go with 70, 30 also. Some people may go with uh, uh, 60, 40 also. We have run our requirement. But 70, 30 is the uh, average maximum people will use. But here we are using 80, 20, why? Because we have plenty of records. Why they opt to choose for uh, this uh, splitting? Is there any uh, logic? Yeah. For, for example, uh, if you say that uh, I prepare for exam, I prepare for exam. So assume it, I prepared uh, some math, math, math exam only. So in my notes, I'm having some 10 problems. So I prepared very well. Can we expect in exam the same 10 problems or same tire, same questions in examination? No, no, that, that, that Can you accept the uh, expect same questions in uh, external examination? No, no, we cannot expect. Can't. But you should, when you said that I prepared for exam, then you're supposed to do uh, same type of questions they may rise. But same, not same problem, same type of questions they will rise. In that situation, you're supposed to write, answer that questions also. Okay. For that also, for that here we're using training and testing. Training in the data set. So mission is going to try the algorithm with the help of these 33,333 records. Randomly they choose them. And then to check whether the machine is working properly or not, whether the algorithm is working properly or not, we are using testing data set. So for testing data set also, supposed to take same performance. Okay. For that, we are dividing training and testing. Training in the sense, we are training, we are giving training to algorithm. And to test whether it is working properly or not, we are using testing data set. Okay. That's the thing. All the fields in the data set, how we are capturing, like uh, there are uh, at least 30 yeah, 40 columns. 40 fields are there, 40 fields are there. So in programming part, uh, we are thinking, just a minute, I will show that program. Data set. No, no, no. 
the fields which is recorded by um, application some application is there so that we are not discussing okay so every fields will be gathered through application so someone is giving that data set to us to go with the uh, software quality prediction how much how quality is there if i am using uh, hadoop so whether the accuracy how much accuracy is there whether can we proceed with the hadoop or not okay if i give some net beans with how much accuracy is there so java how much accuracy is there like that they will give the fields and every data set for that we are going to process the thing so here feature selection will be there so some columns may be having null values in that case we'll remove that one some rows will be having null values in that case we'll remove the rows also like that and if we having less null values then we go with standard deviation only but for that uh, for that particular columns we are going to calculate standard deviation and the value will be replaced with standard deviation value null value will be replaced with standard deviation value for example i will show you uh, some empty values are there here just of the empty values are there okay in that case if like that if it is having more number of records then they will try to remove so but if it is having very less then these values will be replaced with standard deviation so rfc standard deviation of rfc they will find and these values will be replaced so standard deviation of srfc will find processing will take care okay so that is taken care by machine learning algorithm one second one second can you open the text image yeah so data set you require to open so these are the null values and it doesn't have any value so it is also having doesn't have any value okay, okay. some values are there some values are empty so these empty values there are uh, like all, all the columns uh, is it uh, uh, given by some uh, third party members or third party uh, third party third party third party so the person who gave the problem to us they will provide okay so is there any the definitions case, yeah is there any definitions uh, available for all these columns uh, because it is listed in short form yeah 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 rfc srfc dat yes, so yes. is there any yeah i will check it i will, I will check it and uh, if possible i will share with you then the day suppose to give in data set itself so we don't have something like can i can i check in online uh, for this yeah yeah you can, you can find it you can find it in online you can find it in online okay any uh, if possible myself also i will share with you yeah. okay here we have so so matrix is there just we need to close this one Close it and execute this. Execute it so first you supposed to upload the data set whatever it may be then we process the data set then feature selection algorithm so here we are having 
So here it executed different algorithms only. So the role in IV based accuracy, 90% is there. We are supposed to take accuracy only. And Asian free accuracy is 97%, 4.8. Random forest 97.83. Logistic regression is 85. Among these, which algorithm is providing more accuracy, that algorithm will prefer. So here, random forest is having 97.83. They can choose either random forest or Dacian tree. These two algorithms they can find. Okay. Why? Because it's having high accuracy value. And then next we go with Bernoulli Navi bearers. And last we go with log logistic regression only. So they will consider so accuracy. Okay. So precision recall FM. F measure, but accuracy they will consider. So when you execute it for this data set, these two algorithms can prefer. Okay, so 97.48 is there, 97.83 is there. Okay, and then run CNN algorithm. We are executing CNN algorithm also. So it is taking some time. So the background it is running. Final result will get. Here it is running. It is take some time. So, total output will be come here itself only. So, model sequential, layer depth, dense one, okay, output shape, parents, how much parents it is taking, everything is there. So, just we are executing CNN algorithm, sir. So, so, total parameters is having 281606, trainable params 281606, non trainable params are zero. Just is exhibiting like this, and then we can compare the graph. So, which is having highest already in text only we can find it, but in graph, also we are exhibiting only. Okay. So, Dacian tree <laughs> and uh, random values <laughs> <and> high values. <laughs> okay. So, among these, we can find this color blue is having accuracy, the F1 score, precision, recall. So, here we are suggesting so mutation tree is one and random forest is another one. Okay. So this is about the prior exhibition only. And the values will be changed for based on the data set which we choose and okay. So for this, we can prefer this one. So have any doubts? Uh, if you run the CNN algorithm, it won't be displayed in this window, it will be displayed in command window. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't work anyway because uh, Actually, it will work in background process only. Okay. It will work background only. Okay. And up to this CNN is in the future selection only. So up to okay. this one only the final. Okay. okay. This is the future selection process. And CNN algorithms will work background only. It doesn't work in front. We can't show you. Okay. So first you're supposed to upload the data set then pre-process it, then future selection process, and then machine learning execution process. Okay. So in this comparison graph, is there any option available like how to check that? Which one? Comparison graph. Comparison graph, just whatever the data which we received here, yeah. whatever the data which we received here. So yeah, CNN accuracy also it came. CNN accuracy 86.5150. Okay. CNN precision, CNN recall, and CNN reference. Okay, we received here also. So CNN algorithm is also having very less 86.5151. Okay. 
So just we are giving comparison graph means the text what we received here, the text what we received here, just we are showing graphical manner that's all, nothing is there. Okay. Whatever the data we have, same thing we are representing here. So the, this difference in different algorithms, uh, yeah. values? It's executed, values. Just different algorithm values only there. So what we received in here. Okay. okay. So for checking purpose only, we are using graph. But here only we can say that. When you compare accuracy, here only we can say that. Okay. And CNN is also. So bagging class for accuracy, 85 is there. So gradient boosting accuracy, 99.71 is there, sorry. Gradient boosting is having 99.71. And CNN accuracy is 86. So this is having best one. On scroll jail the text on the so 97 division 3 and 7.482 plan of forest 97.83 so when it comes to gradient boosting accuracy algorithm gradient boosting which is 99.71 is there any uh, like only run sequence is there any extended extended algorithm Okay. CNN algorithm is extended. CNN Gani, LSTM Gani, I will further the extension algorithm. Okay. Okay. That's why we executed separately. So, it came out final, it extended algorithm. Okay. We also worked with CNN and job code. Okay. Okay. Still any doubts? No, no, 